Hey guys, it's Brandy. I'm back with another video on the Healthy Conscious Mompreneur YouTube channel. That is a mouthful, but I did it. Anyways, I'm 33. I am a single mother, an Amazon seller. Um, and I'm definitely into health and wellness and helping everybody and anybody who wants to create that lifestyle. So welcome to my channel. And today's topic we are going to talk about is three of the biggest lessons I've learned being a mother. Being a mother is a, a challenge, but in a good way. I love being a mother. I'm happy what motherhood has done to me and for me. Um, it's definitely one of the greatest gifts and things that you can embark on as a person. Um, I'm thankful that I was just given the opportunity that God trusted me enough to have my child and raise her and pour into her and teach her and guide her in this life. So although everything isn't always peaches and cream, sunshine and rainbows, <laughs> Because like I said, motherhood is challenging. Um, I think the first challenge that I had to deal with and face being a mom was the fact that I felt like my body wasn't mine anymore. That was like the first real challenge of becoming a mom. And then after she was born, it was like even crazier. It's like because instantly as soon as you find out you're pregnant, you your mind just starts switching like you become selfless. And from somebody who was all about me for all that time, it was like a big shock. So the first thing motherhood taught me was and probably one of the most valuable things is being selfless, being a servant, being being life for another and even if you're not a mom you can relate to that because that's really when you start to feel purposeful in your life is when you can become a servant to others and as a mom obviously yes your body becomes a servant like they're literally living off of what's what's in you you're you you are feeding life into another human being literally you're, you're helping them build their bones, their muscles, everything. They're messing with your sleep. They're messing with your digestion. Maybe they're making you break out. They're giving you, you're experiencing a new level of, of stress because you're walking into something that you've never done before. And you may have thought that you were selfless or a servant beforehand, but you realize that you really weren't because this is really a challenge to just give up your body to this human being who can't do anything for themselves. And so that was my first big challenge. And the first big lesson was to become selfless. And I wouldn't say that I'm completely not selfless now, but I'm a lot better than I was when I first started on this journey. And I'm happy that she's been able to help me learn this because like, even when you, even after she was born, it was like, all I do is pump this milk. My sleep is on her sleep, even though we did get, get pretty good sleep, but it's still, I still had to wake up to pump the milk so that she could eat. You know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of not doing what I wanted to do. Not that I didn't want to provide for her, but it was like, I would rather just sleep through the night, but I can't now because I'm a servant to this child that I brought here. So yeah, it was a big shock, but it was a necessary shock. And I'm grateful for that shock because I understand that that's really what we're here to do as people is we're here to serve humanity, to help make this place a better place and do it with a smile on your face and be grateful for the experiences and opportunities that you get to have while serving. And 
I definitely laugh more than I used to since I have my child because she's funny. She's entertaining. And I have a bestie. That's what we call each other. We're besties. She doesn't know that that means best friend because she won't let anybody else be her best friend. But wait, if you're like, Journey, can I be your best friend? She's like, no, wait is my best friend. I'm like, whatever, girl. But anyways, that's besides the point. <laughs> um, The next thing that motherhood has taught me is discipline on another level. Like I was already kind of disciplined when I had a goal. But now... I have to be disciplined more than when I have a goal that I'm trying to accomplish. And I can't just be disciplined in that particular area. Like I'm having to be disciplined in all areas of my life because before, you know, I was a massage therapist and I worked for an app and um, it allowed me to work when I wanted to work, not work when I wanted to work. Like I could go as hard as I wanted or not because it, it was like Uber, but for massage therapists. But now that I'm a mom and I'm trying to do these businesses and I'm trying to create content and I still have to feed her and provide for her, like I have to be really disciplined with my schedule because if I'm not, things are going to fall behind and then I'm having to play catch up and then that's not fun. So it's teaching me to be more disciplined in all areas of my life at all times. So I can create this balance and keep life balanced for her. So it's not in one minute we're up and the next minute we're down, like trying to keep it steady, you know? So it's definitely taught me to be more disciplined and the importance of balance. And that's the whole reason why I'm trying to be more disciplined. Like I can be disciplined in how I eat. I can be disciplined in um, getting my sleep or being on a sleep schedule, but like being disciplined in the things that I don't like doing is way harder. And then, but it's just that much more necessary now that I have a child I'm raising, I'm trying to homeschool. Thankfully, we're not to where she has to be in school yet. We're like just getting ourselves ready for that. So we just do a little here and a little there. Um, I have this Amazon business. I'm pursuing being a content creator. So like I have to balance everything. I'm trying to get back in the gym and working out and all that. And it's just a lot. But it, I can do it. There's plenty of people that do it. And it's part of my process of becoming who I'm called to be. So in every challenge you face, just know it has a purpose in it. So that will help you to look at it in a light of gratitude instead of a light of poor pitiful me or this is so hard or whatever because life is hard no one said life was going to be easy and the harder your life the more the more you sacrifice the 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 bigger the blessings you'll get to experience so be grateful for it be grateful that there's such a big call on your life, that there's such a big purpose on your life, that you've had to endure so many hard things to prepare you for it. And that's, yeah. So motherhood has made me to be less selfless or less selfish and more selfless, to be more disciplined and balanced in all areas of my life at all times, not just one area at this time and one area at this time. Like, no, it's time to put it all together. And then the third biggest thing is to just, I've learned from my child to ask for what you want. Like, don't beat around the bush. Um, Go after what you want and stay persistent until you get it because that's what she does. She is very confident and very sure of what she wants. And she pretty much always gets what she wants, not just from me, but even from strangers. Like we go somewhere, she's always, someone's always bringing her a gift, the server. I'm like, oh, I had this little thing. Let me give it to you. And it's because she's just her. She's not ashamed to be her. And she goes after what she wants. So she's also taught me that to just be confident and ask for what you want and stay persistent in it and more than likely you will get what you want and if you're yourself then people are going to be drawn to you and 
yeah, she just brings a smile to so many people's face because she's just her. And so that's what we all have to remember to do. And that's what I'm learning to be better at. It's just being me, not just presenting a part of me that I think, okay, these people can deal with this part of me. So that's the part I'm going to show. No, y'all just got to get all of me and take it or leave it. And yeah, that's how we build authentic, true people to roll with us through life with. And that's how we open doors or not even open doors, but are able to walk into the doors that are meant to be open for us. So motherhood is definitely a blessing. Even when it's hard, you have to remember these things. You have to focus on what has it done for you? How has it changed you? And how that is going to serve the purpose that you were created for. Because yes, you were created to be a mother, but your purpose is bigger than that. Because your child is going to grow up and then what? So what is this skill? What is this time of being a mother or a father? What is this time period trying to bring out of you? Trying to correct in you? Trying to bring to your attention that needs changing? So these are the three top things I would say motherhood has blessed me with. Comment below what you think motherhood has blessed you with or any challenges you might have so I can help you get a different perspective on like flip your perspective um yeah and always join my free community I put the link in every video there's no excuse go ahead and join it subscribe to the channel like it share it and stay tuned for the next video until next time see ya